All right, got a box. I've had the box for quite a while. Want to get this open for you guys. Talk about what's in here and so yeah, let's see that. It always feels fun getting a package, but I think ever since Amazon, we have this bad boy. Cool, this is coming straight from California. I believe California. Yeah, California from these guys, Movement Drum Company. I've had this for quite a while. And uh, so yeah, sorry it's taken me a while to get this out, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna get it out now. So <clears throat> let's talk about this. I like this, it's nice. I love the black on black. Uh, it looks to be double-sided, which is very cool. Look at it, stick. All right, so talking about the top, looks to be like a very similar to what you would find on a uh, on an Invader, but the rim feels pretty solid. I love the sleekness of the black; it's very rubbery here. Uh, got that very cool logo there. Probably it's about the same weight as an Invader. It's a little bit smaller, um, so it's not gonna have any problems at least uh, putting it in a bag or taking it around with you. See the front, the top side. Yeah, cool, it has a lot of good response. The sound is pretty high pitched, so you'll be able to hear yourself uh, pretty much in most environments. So we're talking about rim shots. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, being able to hear that and of course get the the natural um, replication of playing on a drum is super important and pretty much has that. You see that little ridge there um, between the rim and the drum head. And then on the back side, I don't know if this is an actual second side, but it appears as though it is. Yeah, and it's a lot quieter. You're not gonna have any rim on here, but that doesn't mean you're not gonna be able to still play rim shots. So I do like this. Uh, I like the fact that it's rubber, and if you wanna lay it on the table, it's not gonna go anywhere, which is cool. If you wanna put it on your lap, you'll have some of the, at least some kind of texture to grab onto, which is good. Um, if you lay it on the surface and play on the top. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. You're gonna get a little bit of a acousticness, if you will, from the space between the rim and the pad laying on the on a surface. Granted, if it works on a uh, on a stand, you're not gonna have that at all. Then they also sent this, which is very much just a, a sound off pad. Uh, you can throw on top. It's even softer. It has a, even even a little bit less rebound. So um, I don't know about you old school guys. I remember there was a time where uh, we were told to play on a phone book or play on a pillow. It doesn't have any rebound uh, because at the time it was like you wanna force everything out. And so this has a little bit of that feel, not much, uh, but used to get some rebound. Uh, it's just softer, so that's cool. And then besides this, they also sent what looks to be a plastic top. I don't know if that's just to go on top and... Oh, that's very cool, I like that. So. Uh, it's a little difficult to get off. It's a very small, very small shaped crevice, if you will. Oof. Come on. So this is so far the only thing I would say that's a little bit of a not enjoyable. There we go. So let's do this again. So this is without that plastic top. Sounds pretty much like a stock pad. Uh, with the plastic top, that's cool. That's really cool. I like the fact that you can have multiple sounds on this. So now you have three different sounds. Uh, you have the sound of the plastic top, sound of the rubber top on the top head, and then of course the sound of the bottom. Uh, again, my only recommendation to make this a little bit different um, would be to make that a little bit bigger uh, so that a finger could fit in it, you could scoop it out. Uh, because once it's in there, it's pretty much in there, which is good, right? Because it's you want it to be in there so that way uh, it doesn't move around on you when you play. But getting it off, of course, is gonna cause a little bit of an issue. Um, I don't think that will make a difference if we put this on top of the plastic stuff. Yeah, it's about the same. So you got about four different sounds. Um, again, I think the, the coolest thing about this is the sleekness. I love black on black, uh, just on anything. It doesn't matter what it is. I just think uh, it looks very sleek, very cool, very low key, low profile, which I like. And so this is probably one of the nicer pads I've seen. You can kind of see the detail uh, of the outer wood rim. I think this is wood, um, but you can tell there's been a lot of craftsmanship put into this. And I think um, I think you guys should give this one a look for sure. This could this could propel itself into one of my top two or three practice pads. In fact, 
Comparing it to say the size of like this Innovative, uh, they're about the same size, give or take. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the Innovative, not much, but you have a lot more versatility. I mean, I have three Innovative pads to produce these three sounds and I'm getting all three sounds from this one pad. So nice job. Tell me your thoughts. I, I don't know the cost. Uh, I know you can find them. Uh, you know what? I'll find the cost and I'll put it down below. Um, also check out the check them out on Instagram. Um, I'm sure that you can get you can get more information as far as ordering one. But this is definitely a pad that I would I would purchase for sure. And I would purchase this above above some of the other well known ones um, for sure. All right, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you like this format. I figured we just get more into the details. Um, you guys don't need to hear me talk about weight and width and all that stuff and you certainly don't need to see me play um, You guys hear what it sounds like so yeah, let me know what you think down below Hope you guys are doing great. See ya